I walked out one evening just as the sun went down. Overheard two mates converse as I came in the town. Overheard two mates converse and this the maids did say. One of them loved a farmer's son, the other a shanty boy. The reason I love the farmer's son, the charming maid did say. He won't go away in the winter time, at home with me he'll stay. He'll stay at home in the winter time, to the shanties he won't go. And when the spring it does begin, his fields he'll plow and sow. Don't talk to me of your farmer's son, the other maid did say. Some of them, they are so green, the cows all think they're hay. The boys all grin and laugh at them when they come in the town. Hey, Reuben, have you milked your cows? Aren't you glad that you came down? Here's a help for the jolly shanty boy that goes away in the fall. They are so brave and hardy and are fit to stand the squall. They are called out before daylight to make the wild woods ring. They can cut the pine in the winter time and drive it in the spring. You have convinced me, Molly, dear, I have made up my mind To shake the poor old farmer boy, a shanty boy to find They are so brave and hardy, and they're all so good and true A shanty boy is the boy for me, we'll praise them, me and you I'm merry in this wide world for sure, and the wind to whistle a tune I never before did hear. But mother, you know the fiddle hangs just behind the chink. The wind upon the strings is playing a tune, I think, is playing a tune, I think. is barking now and fiddles don't play a tune but mother you know the dogs will bark when they see the moon how can he see the moon when you know he's old and blind blind dogs don't bark at the moon nor fiddles be played by the wind nor fiddles be played by the wind and there now is the pig all easy in his mind but mother you know the saying that pigs can see the wind that's all very well in the day, but allow me, Mr. Remark. Pigs no more than ourselves can see anything in the dark, can see anything in the dark. I'm not so dumb as you think, I know very well it is Pat. Get along, you whistling thief, and get along home for all that. You must be off to your bed, don't bother me with your tears. Though I'm old and blind, I haven't yet lost my ears. I haven't yet lost my ears. Young men don't court and go too near to the house, do you mind? Unless you're certain, sure, the old woman's both deaf and blind. The days when they were young, forget they never can. They're able to tell the difference twixt a fiddle, pig, dog, or a man. Twixt a fiddle, pig, dog, or a
merry month of May, when all the fields were blooming, a young man on his deathbed lay, for love of Barbara Allen, for love of Barbara Allen, a young man on his deathbed lay, for love of Barbara Allen. Sent his little prentice boy to the place where she was dwelling. My master says you must go there if your name be Barbara Allen. If your name be Barbara Allen. My master says you must go there if your name be Barbara Allen. So slowly she put on her clothes, slowly she went nigh him. All she said when there she came, young man, I think you're dying. Young man, I think you're dying. All she said when there she came, young man, I think you're dying. For death is sprinkled in your face, sorrow in your dwelling. How much better off would I be with her, whose name is Barbara Allen? Whose name is Barbara Allen? How much better off would I be with her, whose name is Barbara Allen? Do you remember the other night? Back at the drinking station, you drank a health to the mates all round, but slighted Barbara Allen. But slighted Barbara Allen. You drank a health to the mates all round, but slighted Barbara Allen. He turned his face into the wall, his back unto the maiden. Adieu, adieu, my kind friends all, and woe to Barbara Allen. And woe to Barbara Allen. Adieu, adieu, my kind friends all, and woe to Barbara Allen. She hadn't gone three miles from town before she heard the death bell tolling. Every toll it seemed to roll, cruel Barbara Allen, cruel Barbara Allen. Every toll it seemed to roll, cruel Barbara Allen. She looked at east and looked at west, saw the funeral coming. Set ye down, ye cold corpse of clay, that I might look upon him. That, that I might look upon him. Set ye down, ye cold corpse of clay, that I might look upon him. For cruel is my name, said she, cruel is my nature. I might have saved this young man's life by doing my endeavor. By doing my endeavor. I might have saved this young man's life by doing my endeavor. Dig my grave both long and deep. Dig it straight and narrow. This young man died for me today. I'll die for him tomorrow. I'll die for him tomorrow. This young man died for me today. I'll die for him tomorrow. Fairest young man in all New York died for John Allen's daughter. The fairest maid in all our town, she soon did follow after. She soon did follow after. The fairest maid in all our town, she soon did follow after.
Well, the river being wide and the water being low, says I, gosh darn it, Jack and Jenny, won't you tow? It's told me then they did, and they went it very well, till the trace chain broke, and they towed me straight that to me ding dong, ding dong, diddly diddy dum. Twas about nine o'clock when they towed me to the dock. The first one we met was old Prosser on the town. Says he, young fella, what team is that? Well, it's Lightfoot and Billy, and they're both a-getting fat. To me ding dong, ding dong, diddly diddy dum. But says he, young fella, you been running that team. Says I, Mr. Prosser, ain't you blowing off steam? Says he, young fella, give me none of your sass. Says I, Mr. Prosser, you can kiss my foot to me. Ding dong, ding dong, diddly diddy dum. So he takes me to the office, he reads to me the rules. Says he, young fella, now you'll break that span of mules. Says I, if I had those mules, I would turn them out to grass. And if you don't think that's right, shove them in the barn to, to me. Ding dong, ding dong, diddly diddy dong. So come all you donkey drivers and listen to me. Never hang your shirt in the top of any tree. The nits they will wither and the lice they will decay. They'll all take legs and they'll carry your shirt away. To me ding dong ding dong diddly diddy dong. And come all you young men, listen to me well. You better go to heaven before you go to hell. For if you go to hell, you'll have to sharpen up your teeth just to eat the rotten Johnny cake and second-handed beef. To me ding dong ding dong diddly diddy dong. I never will forget the fight I had with Davy Crockett. He was half goon, half horse, half sky rocket. When we locked horns, I thought my breath was gone. I'd never been hugged so tight since the day that I was born. Never been hugged so tight with a hidey doty die. But I got a little advantage and slipped out the doty die. Old Davy Crockett, he's a going for to fetch him. Old Davy Crockett, he's a going for to catch him. Old Davy Crockett, he followed right behind me while upon the smash and I tumbled in the river. I took a long dive and I don't dive slow. I dive eleven miles before I strike a blow. When I come for the wise so old here in the water, I looked straight ahead, I saw old Sam Tickler. I had a little start when I saw the alligator. Not a thing to fend myself, not a single sweet potato. Every tooth in his head, it was like a broadsword. I took it in my head by the holy Saint Peter. I took it in my head for to ride that carnal creature. I jumped right straddle of a darn rough saddle. First the critter began to roar, then it began to paddle. I begin for to look for a safe place to stick in me Began for to think that I was going for to trick him While upon the smash, don't to think that you would order Give me half a chance all here in the water I'm a fine teller, but I want your hiding tallow For if I put them both together, they will fetch a silver dollar I rolled up my sleeves and I unpinned my collar I took out my knife and I wet it on a dollar The chink began to rattle, then he knew what I was after And he slid between my legs and he left me in the water I caught him by the tail and down the river we sailed We left a streak behind us like a crooked fence rail To sail the southern sea Down in the lowlands low She was handsome, she was tall And as trim as trim could be And the name of the ship Was the weeping willow tree That ship built in the lowlands Low, 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 low That was born to ride the waves High ho Her crew were hardy seamen As brave as brave could be 
Lads from the lowlands low. Her decks were broad and wide, and as white as white could be. And on her sail was printed a weeping willow tree. That ship built in the lowlands low, 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 low. That was born to ride the waves high ho. That worthy ship was chosen to sail the Spanish main. Far from the lowlands low. Her captain he was shrewd and was also proud and vain. And he hoped by his shrewd dealing save fortune for to gain. In that ship built in the lowlands low, low, low. That was born to ride the waves high ho. As that ship was sailing all on the southern sea. Far from the lowlands low. She met a Spanish ship called the Royal Castle And they jeered at the crew of the weeping willow tree. That ship built in the lowlands, low, low, low. That was born to ride the waves high ho. The captain called the cabin boy as he had done before. A lad from the lowlands, low. He said, boy, you can swim, and your stroke is swift and sure. So that sassy Spanish ship, it will never reach the shore. We'll, we'll sink her in the ocean, low, 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 or we'll sink her in the ocean, low. In your hand you'll take an auger and swim to her side, for we're from the lowlands low. And there you'll bore a hole, and you'll bore it deep and wide For five hundred pounds in gold, and to be first mate beside We'll sink her in the ocean, low, low, low For we'll sink her in the ocean, low So that was the end of the royal castle lee She sank in the ocean, low her lofty sail so high and her hot air so free Both were buried in the depths of the raging southern sea We sank her in the ocean, low, low, low For we sank her in the ocean, low The cabin boy exclaimed, sir, I now demand my fee You knave from the lowlands, low Five hundred pounds in gold you now must give to me And I also am first mate of the weeping willow tree That ship built in the lowlands, low, low, low That was born to ride the waves high ho You'll get no gold from me, boy, for causing this wreck You thief from the lowlands, low He took the cabin boy by the nap of the neck and he threw him overboard from the weeping willow's deck. He threw him in the ocean, low, 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 for he threw him in the ocean, low. But he still carried the auger as he had done before. The lad from the lowlands, low. His heart was full of vengeance and his stroke was swift and sure. So instead of boring one hole, he bored twenty-four. In that ship built in the lowlands, low, 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 that was born to ride the waves high ho. That ship was two hundred leagues from the shore, far from the lowlands, low. The captain and his crew. They never reached the shore, and the wild seemed to say, Fare thee well forevermore. To that ship built in the lowlands, low, 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 that was born to ride the waves high ho. But one brave hardy seaman escaped the raging sea, the lad from the lowlands, low. He was picked up by a ship, so it has been told to me. And he told to us the tale of the weeping willow tree. That ship built in the lowlands, low, 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 that was born to ride the waves high ho. Cambridge County in the barroom filled with smoke Where all the neighbors gather round, talk horse and crack a joke 
On the cold and blustery night with tongues already greased, smoke rolling from his old clay pipe, Bill Hopkins spoke his piece. I'd like to tell you boys about the cold my dad was gonna shoot. Yes, he was gonna take the life of that crooked legged brute. He was so tarnal mad, you see, to think old Dollar Mare could mother such a Hambletonian as we saw sprawling there. But I begged so hard of him to give that only thing to me. At last he said, well, take him, Bill, he's the worst I'd ever see. I took him and I raised him and though I wouldn't have owned it, I'd have swapped him for a mule if no one would have known it. Cause long-legged and slap-sided was the nature of that creature. I kept him down in our back lot, well out of sight for sure. I'd go down and stir him up and switch him around a lot to see if he couldn't strike a gate, something like a trot. But he didn't seem to have the gate. He mixed himself all up like an old jackknife with the rivets loose, half open and half shut. I broke him and I drove him, but he didn't seem to know whether drove single or drove double, how he'd ought to act or go. Slip from the neck ring while going up that hill And they let out Jehoshaphat, they let out for to kill My surprise turned to amazement and my blood got boiling hot The old mare run her level best but the colt just kept his trot Going up that hill I fixed everything all right And I didn't tell my secret and I didn't sleep that night Cause the county fair was coming up and I made up my mind To try my luck with the four-year-olds and not get far behind Got another boy to enter him so no one else would know Whose colt it was a goner until time came for the go. We got the word to go, but the others were ahead. And I wish that I was somewhere else, and the darned old colt was dead. But I hauled right up and pounded him the very best I knew. All at once he spread his wings and flew. Let's talk about your cotton, boys, it's talk about your fun. It's then we found them four year olds, and we downed them one by one. My colt won three straight heats, and the crowd went crazy wild. See that air colt win like taking candy from a child. Boys, to end the story, you know that by my own, the price I got for that air colt just deeded me that home. My old man, he always says blooded stock is his best holt, but you can bet your life he never gives away another crooked dead legged colt. Stripped himself off and he swam. 
swam the lake round Swam to an island but not to dry ground He said go back my comrade do not venture in There's deep and false water in the lake of Champlain It was early next morning, Willie's sister rose. Straight to the chamber of her mother, she goes. She said, Mother, Mother, I had a true dream, and I dreamed us of Willie in the cold watery stream. It was early next morning, Willie's mother was there, wringing of her hands and tearing of her hair. Oh, murder, murder was nobody nigh, for to venture their life for my own daughter. It was early next morning, Willie's uncle was there. Swam the lake round like a man in despair. Oh, was he sure drowned or did he fall in? There's deep and false water in the lake of Champlain. young men all dressed in white and they'll take him to the graveyard and lay him in the clay and they'll say farewell willy and go weeping away to see willy's sister twill grieve your heart so to see Willie's mother will grieve your heart more To see Willie's true love will give your heart pain There's deep and false water in the lake of Champlain When the word it was sent that 
the homeless that night were starving to death, slow but sure. Twas the lightning express meant by noble Jim Fisk that fed all the hungry and poor. What do you think of the trial of that Stokes that murdered this friend of the poor? If such men go free, is anyone safe to go from their own parlor door? Is there one law for the rich and one for the poor? You think so from all that they say. If they hang up the poor, why damn it, the rich ought to swing in the very same way. Shouldn't show favor to friend or to foe, to beggar or prince at their door. The big millionaire, they should hang up also, but never go back on the poor. Walking and a talking and a walking went I for to meet my own true love. He'll be here by and by to meet him in the meadow. It's all my delight to walk and talk with him from morn until night. Meeting is a pleasure and parting a grief, but a false-hearted lover is worse than a thief. A thief he will rob you and take what you have. A false-hearted lover will send you to the grave. The grave, it will betray you and turn you to dust. There is scarce one in twenty that a poor girl can trust. He'll coax you and flatter you and tell you more lies than fish in the ocean or stars in the sky. The cuckoo is a pretty bird, she sings as she flies. She brings us glad tidings, and she tells us no lies. She sucks the pretty flower to make her voice clear. And then she sings cuckoo three months of the year. Come all ye pretty fair maids, take warning by me. Never place your affections on a green willow tree. The leaves they will wither, and the roots they will die. And if I am forsaken, I know not for why. And if I am forsaken, it's only by one. But he's surely mistaken if he thinks I'm undone. I can court as many by him as he does by me. So fare ye well, you young men who court two or three.
by the river where Route 5 crosses Route 9. Six hours it took me to write these words. I'll tell you they were on my mind. And I wrote Barry Shemensky, I love you. Oh Lord, what was I doing? Hanging by one hand from the railroad bridge, right by the light of the moon. Mary, she left me in New Jersey. She went to some small Vermont town. So I jumped in my rig and my big tractor trailer and I headed north to claim my own. I found Mary in Putney, but when I knocked at her door, she sicked her old dog on me. He tore my pants. I cursed and I hollered and I swore. But I wrote Mary Shemensky, I love you. Oh Lord, what was I doing? Hanging by one hand from the railroad bridge, riding by the light of the moon. Then Mary left on a picnic. I hiked in 15 miles or more. But when I got there, she left with a friend and my heart and my feet were sore. Mary called down to the sheriff. She gave that man my name. So he says, take your rig, take your big tractor trailer and go back from where you came. So I'll go back to New Jersey. No comfort here can I find. But before I go, I'll write these words to the meanest of all womankind. And I'll write, Mary Shuminsky, I love you. Oh Lord, what was I doing? Hanging by one hand from the railroad bridge, riding by the light of the moon. Then Mary went down to Hojo's, where Route 5 crosses Route 9. She saw these words on the railroad bridge, and her little heart commenced to crying. So Mary called down to New Jersey, said, Mary, to my love we will be. So I jumped in my rig and my big tractor trailer and I headed for the North Country. Bye. 